Okay, in this video we've got a car of mass 2,200 kilos towing a trailer of mass 600 kilos on a straight horizontal road. The driving force of the car's engine is of magnitude 8,000 newtons. Forces of resistance are 200 newtons on the car and 40 newtons on the trailer. Okay, so let's draw a diagram so we can visualize what's going on. So here is the car. Okay, and there is a coupling and there is a trailer. Okay, um, so the mass of the car is 2,200 kilos. So we've got weight working downwards, 2,200 G, mass times gravity. There will be a normal reaction force for the car, which I'll call RC. The trailer has mass 600 kilos. So its weight will be 600 G working vertically downwards. And there will also be a normal reaction force for the trailer, which I'll call RT. The driving force of the car's engine is of magnitude 8,000 newtons. So 8,000 newtons, and I'm going to show it working to the ones to the right. And I'll take that as the direction of motion. So the car will be accelerating in this direction. Okay. Uh, forces of resistance are 200 newtons on the car, so there is a resistive force on the car of 200 newtons and one on the trailer of 40 newtons. Now in the coupling there will be tension, okay, working equal and opposite directions. Okay, so this is my diagram. This is what I know. Okay, So I'm going to draw this dashed line down the middle to break apart these two diagrams. Okay, Because I'm going to consider the car and the trailer separately. So to find the acceleration of the car and the trailer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to resolve forces horizontally okay, for the car and the trailer. So if I do that for the car, so I'm going to resolve horizontally, taking to the right as positive. I've got the 8,000 newtons working to the right. I've got T working against me, and the 200 newtons as well. Okay, And that's going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. So 2,200 A. Right, so let's tidy that up. I've got the 8,000 take away 200, so that's 7,800 take away T is 2,200A. Okay, so that's my equation, or my first equation. Right, what comes next? Well, now I can resolve horizontally for the trailer. So, I've got T working towards the right. I've got 40 working against me. I've then got that to be equal to the mass times acceleration, so 600A. So I now have two equations, equation number one and equation number two. So I could plug these into my calculator. I'm going to just solve them algebraically because it's quite straightforward to do that. Add the two equations together. They'll knock out the t's. So I'm going to have 7,800 take away 40. So that would be 7,760. And that's going to be equal to 2,200A plus 600A, which is 2,800A. So we've got 7,760 divided by 2,800. Okay. And A is 97 35ths, which is 2.77 meters per second per second to 3 sig fig. Okay, so there's my acceleration. So that's what I needed for part A. Now we need the tension in the coupling. Now because we've got uh, the value of A, I can just substitute that into one of the two equations to find T. And it'd be easier to substitute into number 2. So T is equal to 40 plus 600 lots of 97 over 35. So uh, multiply it by 600, add the 40, 
and I get, um, well, 11920 over 7, uh, which is 1,703, well, let's do 1,700 newtons to 3 sig fig. Let's keep it to the same degree of accuracy. Okay, so I get 1,702.857143. Okay, so 1,700 newtons to three significant figures.